Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings so everybody guys, let's keep watching on your currency. So um, as you can see your currency right now mostly the hostage of the some political uh, events and just imp uh, impulse uh, speeches and comments. So as you know on Friday Donald Trump has said that it's not really good for the United States, it's a very strong United States dollar it, and it has some doubts on the policy of the Fed and rate increasing so it, it, it has um, announced some concern that Fed intends to rise rate two two more times this year, and as a result, this just destroyed uh, the previous comments from the Powell that has been done in the beginning of the week when he said that he believed in the uh, perspective of the United States economy and very strong growth in the United States economy, and a Fed will stay on the course of the uh, rate increasing. So uh, it's and, and it really breaks the equilibrium of the normal price action on the markets and you see it's just uh, turning to some uh, nervousness and volatility action. So uh, while our long-term uh, view on the euro currency mostly stands intact, because actually as you can see in the recent a couple of months market stands in a tight range, this is daily triangle, and as market stands in tight, tight trading range, it has really barrel impact on the uh, longer-term picture, on the monthly and the weekly chart. Uh, their situation changed very slowly. Uh, and as a result, we, we just will continue to monitor uh, on the, over the situation on the daily, on the, with this triangle, and in particular what is going on in intraday charts, because the patterns that are forming right now on intraday charts is the key to understanding what, what will happen. So um, last week trading plan was really very good. So you can see that First of all, market has completed our triple two pattern, so we were mostly traded this ABCD. And on Friday, our suggestion that probably reverse hand shoulders could be foreign market could move to the 117, 117, 20 area really has been completed. So, but still uh, on the daily chart, this is not enough to make some far go in conclusion because as you can see, uh, this price action, actually this resistance already has been tested three times and every time market has stopped and turned in the opposite direction. Uh, and uh, with this upper action, market was not able to reach again this confidence resistance. All price action stands inside of this plunge on the June. You can see. So uh, the fact that market has increased from the upper action on Friday, it's not enough yet to make the judgment on the possible upper breakout. At the same time, there are some bullish signs present because last week we said we need to keep an eye on reaction. On the guard is triple two, so it will be minor action, just rate retracement. Market will establish downward action. This will be one story. If market will trying to show in some rally and use this triple two pattern for some something bigger, that is another tune. And it seems that we're going on the second scenario because this rally on Friday looks significant. And in general, if you will take a look at the consolidation of the last two weeks, you can see that market stands in the higher part of the triangle. So it stands in the closer to the upper border and it's forming here a kind of the, um, I could call it a flag pattern, something that sort you will see it on the follow time frame chart. I will show you a bit later. So on Friday, we, we've got the bearish grabber here, but this is not uh, really very important currently because this is the weaker type of the grabber. I prefer to see these kind of grabbers when the market stands in the some direction shows retracement on this retracement we've got the grabber but this grabber stands in opposite direction to the previous section so it's uh it's the weaker type of the, of the grabber so we need to keep an eye on this grabber but i'm not so i'm not think that will be the decisive some decisive pattern here for a coming week on the follow time from chart guys uh we have this kind of flag and uh using the intraday price behavior using intraday patterns that we have we need uh, to get some early signs of the possible changing of the situation here 
uh, what the most important sign of the changing situation. Market should break the existence tendency. And what tendency we have right now? We have tendency to the downside because we have lower lows and lower tops, lower highs. And uh, the way when the market will break this tendency, it should form higher top. In this case, we could say, yes, upper breakout has happened. Market should form the reversal swing, upside reversal swing, because it will form the, some swing above the previous swing down. So we need to take now this top. And that will be at least something that will let us to start to speak about the possible upper continuation, talk about maybe this large A, B, C, bar impression with the thinking of the higher targets, at least reaching again of this previous top around 1850. That's necessary condition that we need to keep an eye on. And market, in fact, has some background for that. So take a look at the hourly. Here is our hand shoulders that were talked about, if you remember, um, on Friday. So we said that uh, daily setup is mostly is done for the week. I mean, this large ABCD patient down mostly has been completed. Now you just could trade the upside bounce of it. But this bounce, as you can see, the result has taken very significant action. So we have this A, B, C bottom patient. Mostly we have talked about it on Friday. Um, the first target of the, this hand shoulders has been completed. This is OP target. And also this target mostly corresponds to harmonic swing here on the euro currency. At the same time, you can see that the upper direction with these controls is rather fast. So here we see the acceleration on the head, also acceleration right to the OP target. And in general, you can see that this swing is faster than this one. So currently, Euro has bit more, better chances for trying to break this uh, tendency down and starting to show some upper tendency in action to the 118, 11850. XLP target stands at 118, approximately 79.83. That's will be next destination point. Also take a look that XLP stands slightly above these stops where some stops could be placed and market could break it up and just continue action right to the 18.50. It's also possible. Uh, so it means that that's particular what we will be watching for here. Be prepared for some minor retracement on Monday for reaction on this OP so market could show some. Minor bounce, maybe a three eight retracement of this upper direction. So just use a few levels from these lows, from that lows to find the confidence support. Maybe this will be the possible retracement that could be reached. And after that, I think that upper direction will continue because this overall action here looks strong and currently Euro has better chance to proceed higher compared to what we had last week. So that particular what we'll be watching for. If Euro will fail to pass through this area and starts moving down. Well, that will tell us that at minimum it will stand inside the triangle, but at maximum it really could turn down and break these lows. Uh, that will be the negative impact of the failure to proceed higher. But still, I think that in the first half of next week it's really possible and we will be watching for moving to the next XOP target on the euro currency.